What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be taking you through audio channels and audio mixing effects, etc., on Linux, in particular fixing issues where certain channels, as in the left or the right side, aren't as loud as the other one, having strange issues when changing the volume, etc. I recently moved to Arch Linux, and of course, Linux is a sort of do-it-yourself system where there's tons of customizability, but of course, tons of things that could go wrong, and in my case, they have. Let me give you an example. If I open up Spotify, then you'd expect to hear music in both ears. Of course, you can see here in OBS Studio that I've got audio coming out both sides of my headphones. That's cool and all, but to me, it's actually louder in one ear than the other one, in particular, my left ear. If I raise the volume, the right ear sort of appears later on. Let me graph out exactly what I'm hearing. I've just fired up Krita here, and let's go ahead and draw out something simple. All right, so here's my volume, and at the bottom, the volume slider. Essentially, you expect your volume to do something like this. You raise the audio on the audio slider, both channels go from zero to 100. However, for me, only the right channel actually does this, and the left one does something like this. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, it sort of starts about here, and maybe 10% it just suddenly drops off to nothing. Obviously, not the best, as I can only hear things equally when they're either 100% volume or zero. So, there's two things that we can do to try and fix issues like this, where different channels are different volumes, it's not scaling properly, etc. The first one is pretty well documented, and is also a solution for not having audio until you're above 30%, or somewhere around there. This is on the Arch Wiki for Pipewire. So of course, as I'm using Pipewire, this video is specifically going to focus on Pipewire. Switching to Pulse Audio may be something that fixes this, but instead of messing around with things that I don't fully understand, I'd rather fix certain issues or at least work around them. Right, so by default, the hardware mixer is used, as in my computer just says, hey hardware, here's audio, this is the percentage that I want the volume to be, between 100 and 0. However, we can use the software mixer instead, so it always comes out at 100%, however, software changes how loud and soft it is. In my case, as I'm using some exotic audio DAC that's only really designed for Macs and not even Windows computers really, as in you just get better compatibility on Mac, not even Windows, using the hardware mixer built in may not be exactly what we want, and instead using a software mixer may help. And for me, it actually does. Remember where my left and right channels don't scale properly? Well, if I use the software mixer, it actually fixes that issue. Between 0 and 100, my left and right ear change the same amount of volume as I move the volume slider. In order to use a software mixer in ALSA, the default pipewire audio mixer, we need to edit this file over here and make sure to uncomment ALSA soft mixer, then set it to true. So I'll open up a new console and I'll use sudo nano or nvim, whatever you want, and we'll paste in the Lua here. This over here is the default big file with all of your audio settings for all of your audio devices. You can control them individually, all at once, etc. There's tons of options here, as you can see at the very bottom. However, the simplest thing that we can do is we'll simply search for either using control F in nano, I think it's control W in nvim and vim, it's forward slash and we'll type in api.alsa.soft-mixer. When you type half of it, you're probably already there. I'll hit enter, and you'll see that just before this, there is actually two minuses that comment out this entire line. What we'll do is we'll get rid of both of these minuses, and we'll make sure that at the very end, false is actually set to true. Then we'll save the file and close it. In nvim, it's wq. In nano, it's control s and control x, I think it is. You'll see the shortcuts at the very bottom. And now, the next time that we restart our system or reload Pipewire, our new audio settings should be set. So system CTL, hyphen hyphen user, restart, wire plumber, pipewire, and pipewire hyphen pulse. Now, I won't be doing this here as pipewire actually works for video, not just audio, and that would completely break my recording. But when you do this, hopefully your scaling issues are fixed, or if you can't hear audio below 30%, it should be fixed as well. Just a quick note before you run this command as well, when you do, you'll likely lose audio in all of your programs, you just need to restart them. So if this video goes quiet, just restart Firefox or whatever your browser is, and you should hear it again. Cool. Now, if you had either this issue, a similar issue, or it was scaling weirdly, then this is probably already fixed. 
However, for me, instead of the left and right side not scaling properly, the left side is just outright louder now. What can we do about that? Well, the easiest thing that I'd recommend, I don't know of a different way, maybe there's a way to do it with the configs, is to install a separate piece of software called Easy Effects. This lets you not only control and EQ your outputs, but also your inputs too. So if we were to open, say, Discover, we should be able to search for Easy Effects and install it from here. Now, it should come with a couple of plugins and VSTs and things like that, so we can change how our audio sounds. But if it doesn't, you'll see that on the Effects tab at the very bottom, so Output Effects, you'll see on the left we can add effects, and I've added, for example, an equalizer. What you want to do is add effect, then search for equalizer and when you have you'll see it here now the thing is is that you may not have this equalizer or any plugins installed if i search for equalizer you see i have a bunch of programs installed here and you'll see the install command at the bottom of the window here telling you exactly what you're missing once you've installed the effects package you should be able to control it in a similar way to this now what i've done essentially is I've EQ'd it to my liking, and at the top near the balance section here, I've pushed it in a positive direction, so the right ear is actually hearing more than the left ear. If I set it back to zero, pretty much all the audio comes through the left side, and if we go to negative 100, it's completely the left side and nothing else, as you can see here, just the left channel. If we set this to zero, it should be balanced, but in real life, it's actually mostly on the left and barely on the right. So what I needed to do was push it all the way up, either by scrolling, using the arrow keys, or selecting it and typing 93% in my case. Now when I'm listening to audio, it actually comes out perfectly in both of my ears at the same volume. As you can see in recordings and things like that, it will be very off, where the right side is far louder than the left, but at least to me, where it actually matters, I can hear things equally on the left and right. The thing is, is that if I need to show a sound or something like that in recordings, I'll need to balance it in the editing software, or of course in something like OBS. But for me at least, this has helped. And also, you can use the output gain at the very bottom here to change your volume up and down as you like. So that's really it. Now you know how to EQ your audio, change the balance, and use a software mixer instead of a hardware mixer, which should hopefully improve audio compatibility and weird issues that you could be experiencing, like channels being different volumes, etc. Anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you know of a better way of changing audio volumes for each channel, do let me know. Or of course, if you've experienced something similar to this, also let me know how you managed to fix it. That's it. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.